Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do another Choose Only One video and this is episode number eight. I can't believe there have already been seven completed. It feels like I just started this last week, but this is episode number eight and we're going to focus on home defense firearms. I think this one will be good. The last Choose Only One was CCW calibers. What is the favorite CCW caliber out there? And by and large, people chose 9mm, and I figured that would be the case, but I was also shocked that 380 got a ton of votes. Those micro 380s that fit so easily in the pocket, they say, you know what, I just throw that in the pocket, I don't worry about it, I'm always armed, and I get that mindset, especially in those warmer states, you know, it, it, gets, it gets hot and they're in gym shorts. 357 SIG, I was called out on that. They said, you know, you offered a lot, but you didn't offer 357 SIG, and I, I get that. It's a great round. I don't currently have one or a handgun in 357 SIG, but I understand that round is phenomenal. I used to have a Glock 32. I shot that a lot, but the ammo was so expensive. Nonetheless, home defense firearms. A lot of people will carry a gun all day, and then they take it off at night, put it on the nightstand, and that's also their home defense firearm. And if it's for you, you would choose a handgun. Full size, subcompact, this is Springfield Armory Hellcat. 12, 13, 14 rounds, 15 rounds now. You know, that would be a viable choice. I think you should have night sights. Some people carry a revolver and they say, you know what, I'll go with the revolver. I'll sacrifice the rounds to get that 357 Magnum or whatever, you know, 38 Special Plus P. That would be cool. Is it a shotgun? Let's start with this one. Here's a Remington Express Tactical. Remington 870 Express Tactical. Very cool shotgun. It's got that door breacher choke on there. Nice sight system. It does have a rail. And, you know, 12 gauge. A lot of people say 12 gauge is the best way to go in terms of home defense. And if that's you, let me know. But also with 12 gauge, there are so many choices. You can go double barrel. You can go single shot. I wouldn't do that. But you can also go semi-auto and here's a rock island vr80 gained a ton of popularity it also has a five round mag but nine round and 19 round mags are available with the two and three quarter inch load so is it a semi-auto shotgun that is your choice how about a an ar pistol here we have a cmmg banshee this is chambered in 5.7 by 28 millimeter the mags carry 40 rounds and that is some serious firepower this has a five inch barrel very compact all right so a lot of options here it would be extremely loud indoors i would i will tell you that that would be extremely loud you might blow the kids ears out you know i mean something worth considering is it a rifle some people may choose a rifle and if that's your choice certainly let me know Rifles are great. I don't know if it's a home defense carry uh, firearm, but a lot of people would use that. One of the things that a lot of people may go with would be something that everybody in the house could use. And here we have a Mossberg Bantam. It's a youth model. It's chambered in 410, but they also make this in 20 gauge. And once again, you know, it, it lacks capacity. This has a three round capacity but everybody in the house could use it and the recoil is extremely low with 410. And 20 gauge depends on the load, but you know, if you practice, you can get the job done. I think a very popular choice throughout the years and I think that one that a lot of people have come to know and love in terms of home defense are the shorty firearms. And here we have a Mossberg 590S that will also accept Mossberg reinvented, I guess, the, the feeding system to accept short shot shells. And, you know, those shorties will, will pack in a lot of capacity in a small little firearm like this. Or you can, you can mix it up. When we talk about shotguns, it all depends on the load. We know that. You know, some people say bird loads work fine for me. Other people say give me buckshot. I'm somewhere in the middle. I like number four buckshot i've done a range test with that and it didn't even penetrate the door so is it a shorty firearm whether it's pump action or semi-auto i do not fall in the mindset that all you have to do is 
go like this and your intruder is going to take off running. I don't buy that one bit. I think that's a, a fallacy. You have to consider somebody could be all drugged up. They could be wanting to engage with the homeowner and you know to think that all you have to do is rack that slide and or I'm sorry rack that pump action and that's going to get somebody to take off. Uh, you know it, it may work it may not. You always have to plan for the worst case scenario. I just showed a bunch of them here. I think I covered them all that I'm going to feature, but be sure to tell me if you think that there's one that you use or you there is one that you use that I did not cover, and I would love to get that conversation started. Episode number eight has to do with home defense, firearms, and be sure to choose only one. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.